What's going on guys, it's Ben here from BH Aquatics and in today's video we're going to be doing a live fish unboxing which I'm really excited for with this box right next to me. So let's get right into it. For those of you who have been keeping up with my channel lately, you would know that I have I ordered a bunch of plecos for my 55 gallon pleco breeding tank uh, that I set up as a pleco breeding project. I never told you guys what kind of plecos though that I purchased and I've actually been waiting for them to come in for quite a while just because we have had a couple of winter storms in the past four weeks even though that I ordered these guys four weeks ago. Because of those storms, it was delayed the four weeks up until now. So we finally have them. Um, before we get into unpackaging this box though, I do want to mention that as you can see there's no box around it, so I'm not going to really be judging the packaging just because this did actually come into a wholesale dealer. They unpackaged the fish just because I wasn't able to pick them up for another week and then I picked them up today. Um, so they were kind of repackaged again. So they, they are packaged like they would have been shipped just minus a couple of items due to the fact that they've only been in this box for about an hour and a half. Um, so. Without further ado, let's get to opening up the box. All right, guys, I'm really excited for this because although I did see them when picking them up at the store, um, I did not really get an extremely good look at them uh, while I was at the store just due to the fact that I was picking them up. Um, I just had them tape up the box for me. Still some taping over here on this side. Uh, oh, you can get it off anyways. Nice bag double bagged here um, there is a little bit of water in the bag we do have a heat pack um, since it has only been in here for about an hour and a half I'm not like I said I'm not gonna judge this packaging just because it is not technically a real shipment in but since it has been in the box for about an hour and a half I still can do minor judgments of it um, the bagging is really nice nice blue bag there is a little bit of water that's in the bottom of the box but that's all right it's nothing major um, the bag is all tied up nice with a rubber band. We got a heat pack on the side here, um, hanging on the side, taped right to the side here uh, so that it can circulate around the uh, box. Uh, since this styrofoam is like uh, an insulator, it's keeping the heat inside of the box instead of releasing it out. So that's all very, very good. But without further ado, let's just take a look at the plecos. There was some paper stuff in here earlier, but I didn't really find a need to take it out. Um, these guys look incredible. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know if you guys can see these, uh, if we're in the camera or out of the camera right now, but these guys look amazing. Uh, these are six green phantom plecos. When, as I ordered them, I ordered them as four males and two females, uh, sorry, four females and two males, and uh, they are all pretty good size, four to six inches long each. And the minimum breeding size for these guys is approximately five to eight inches. So potentially we could get some breeding in once they've acclimated to the water. So, I mean, now that we've gotten them out, let's acclimate them to the tank and let them go. So while we're waiting for these guys to acclimate to the tank, um, one thing that I must mention is uh, that I am going to have to add a couple of things to the tank just for the proper breeding setting of these guys. Obviously, uh, feeding is going to be a little bit different with these guys than it would be with regular ancestors. For instance, we'll feed them uh, occasionally blood worms, which they surprisingly will eat um, some of the smaller ones, of course. And uh, another thing is that a fun fact about these green uh, phantom plecos is that they actually are cave breeders. So I'm going to uh, have to take larger caves and put them into the tank just so that it will optimize the breeding for these guys. Um, the last thing that I need to talk about that is extremely important for green phantom plecos if any of you attempt to breed them in the future like me um, is that when trying to breed any type of pleco that's like green phantoms, blue phantoms, gold nuggets, plecos that grow a little bit larger or definitely larger than five to six inches, uh, you should, it's only proper if you breed them in a species only tank just so that there's not any distractions, it optimizes breeding quality and uh, makes the breeding process much more efficient for these fish. No pun intended. Yeah, if you guys picked up on that one, eat fish. It, never mind, never mind. Um, but that's pretty much all you really need to focus on for this tank uh, that I have not added. And just that quick fun fact that you need to know in case you guys try and breed these guys in the future. 
Something like that I forgot to mention in the last clip is that these guys, uh, since they are going into a species only aquarium and they have been in the wholesale dealer for the past week since they got shipped in overseas, uh, the one week added in like a, a chemicals that, not chemicals, but uh, different medications that promote growth of uh, good bacteria and different things like that to help the uh, fish kind of settle into um, the, the future owner's aquariums like mine, for instance. Since they have been in that wholesale dealer condition um, for the past week and they're only going to be in their own personal uh, species only aquarium, there is no real need to quarantine these guys just because obviously they're not going to be moving out of this tank anytime soon, moving in with any other types of fish just due to breeding conditions and also due to the fact that uh, the only time I'm going to have to change tanks is when these guys outgrow this one. Alrighty guys, so, sorry about that, um, and I've gotten the bag in my hands here, it, literally just gonna put it into this box, and, uh, since, due to the way that this was packaged, it's super easy to undo this bag, literally, uh, super easy with two hands, yeah, look at me go. Evidently my baggage skills to unpackage bags are not nearly as good one-handed as they would be two-handed, alright. Hold on one second, guys. Now that we finally got the bag open, phew, it was an intense one. Um, I'm just gonna stuff the bag in there, leave the bag in this water, and we're slowly gonna tip over the bag that they are in just so that we can release them into this new water. Make sure that none are left in the bag. Looks like we got all six in there, and job well done. Now they're mixed with the water that they were in the bag uh, with just because the wholesale dealer's water, you never know what's in the water. Maybe there is something that you don't want in there. So just in case you want to make sure that they're willing to take on the water that you have in your tank from the water that they were just transferred in uh, from the wholesale dealer's tank. Um, so just letting them it's kind of half and half right now, half of this uh, packaged bag uh, water and the other half being the water from the 55 gallon Pleco breeding project tank. Um, we're gonna let them sit there for about five minutes, uh, five to ten minutes, and then after that, I think it's safe to say, just because these guys have been quarantined for the past week in the wholesale dealer, that we can put them directly into the 55. Um, so, without further ado, the waiting game begins, and I'll see you guys in ten minutes. Alrighty guys, so they have been in the bucket for a about 15, 20, no, what am I saying? 20 to 30 minutes, I didn't really count, honestly. I just know that it's been uh, quite a while because I've been doing a lot of chores in the fish room here. Uh, um, but uh, I got my net ready. This is definitely way too small of a net to do this. I did not come prepared net-wise, but either way, it will not really matter as I uh, can easily catch them in this bucket. Um, I hope I did not just jinx it because that would really suck if I did. Um, I hope they don't make this a challenge. Yeah, okay. This is going to be challenging. All right, hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. So as you can see, guys, I just decided it would be much easier not to film it at all. But uh, other than that, guys, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I, I think that they actually look really amazing with this tank. Um... Just gonna come in on these guys here for a second. I mean, obviously you're seeing the bottom side. These guys, for the most part, since they have been shipped overseas, they are in pretty extraordinary condition just for um, how they've been packaged, how they've been shipped, and how long they've been shipped. Um, in the tank, I think they're going to do extraordinarily well. Um, as you can see, they, they do vary in size. This guy's pretty big here. Um, I'd say this guy's maybe five inches long. This guy's probably six. Um, this guy here is probably on the smaller side, three and a half to four. But other than that, I feel like they are going to acclimate extraordinarily well. They can definitely feed on the driftwood. Um, they can feed on the sides. I let some algae grow in the tank just so that it can promote uh, breeding and it would promote uh, healthy eating. Uh, plenty of live plants that are local to the environment that 
green phantom plecos have uh, in the wild. So it, that, that's really the whole point of this tank. Um, obviously, I'm going to do an update on this tank sometime in the future. Um, I may end up getting more green phantom plecos for this tank uh, in case um, something happens. And as I personally try and sex these guys, I don't come out with the right amount of females or don't come out with the right amount of males, then I might have to do a switch in the future. I might have to get more in the future. I'm not really sure. Uh, whatever fits into what I'm going to do with this breeding project. Um, but in the meantime, these guys look amazing in this tank, and I'm really, really excited to see what happens in this project. Uh, without further ado, though, unfortunately, guys, I do have to end this video. Um, but if you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it, make sure you smash that subscribe button, like this video if you want to see more just like this one, because I have actually not done an unboxing um, ever before on my channel, nor have I done like a stocking video <coughs> of a tank that I set up, um, like completely set up, Aquascape, different things like that. Um, so. Other than that, I really have nothing much else to say for this video uh, except for the fact that I am really enjoying how these guys look. Uh, all five of them, well, there were six, but five of the six were just in the corner there. Four of them are still there. They look incredible together. I have to point that out. Um, other than that, like I said, I have really nothing else to say. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Sunday.